If you've been looking for mind-blowing tools and resources specifically for children's authors, then you will love this video. Hi there, I'm Evie, an award-winning children's author and ghostwriter over on eviejones.com and creator of Children's Book University. I create videos specifically for children's authors, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my weekly videos. Not too long ago, I shared a video about a roadmap I created that is made up of clickable links to access the most important videos I have created for each phase of the book creation process, whether that's for for the writing phase, the illustration phase, the formatting phase, or the publishing phase. Very much like I have shared them in my book, How to Self-Publish a Children's Book. I'll make sure to share the link to that video in the description below. In this video, I'll share some of the most helpful and my readers and students' favorite resources that I have created for you over the years. And to make it as easy as possible, I have again organized them based on the different book creation phases. Most of these are free, so please make sure you make use of them as you are creating your beautiful children's book. You can find the link to all these resources in the description below. The first phase is the writing phase. Here I have so many amazing resources that I can't wait for you to dive into. The first resource is my perfect story idea. Oftentimes, most aspiring authors who purchase my how-to book already have a specific story in mind that they would like to create a children's book for, but others may not. So if we don't have a specific idea just yet, my story idea is the perfect place to start. And that is also a wonderful resource if we already have our story, but want to infuse it with some elements that will help our story speak to a broader audience. This consists of three videos and three downloadable fun sheets that go with those videos. The second resource here is my age range quiz. Before we begin writing our story, we first will always want to decide on the age group we would like our book to be for because this will help us with every subsequent step. Things like how long our story should be in terms of the number of words, how many illustrations we would need based on industry standards, and also what vocabulary to use how advanced our sentence structure could and should be. And so based on our very own unique writing style and writing preferences, this quiz will help us find our own perfect age range we might want to consider writing our book for. The third resource here are my printable writing templates. These templates include worksheets for all the steps we will need to write our beautiful and engaging story, whether that's our story elements, our story outline, or how to go about evaluating our story. All that will be in those writing templates. The fourth resource here is one of my favorite ones I have ever created, and that's what I call the perfect title formula. This is such an important one. An overwhelming majority of aspiring children's book authors does not know how important their title is to the success of their book. And that's why I have created the perfect title formula, a two-part series that walks us through the process of finding that perfect title for our children's book. Here I share actionable steps we can and should take today. So whether we already have a title in mind or don't have any idea what to name our book just yet, this is an important one. And finally, my fifth free resource for the writing phase is a curated list of children's book editors I put together because we will definitely want an editor who has worked on children's books before. So this list will come in so, so handy. So these are the resources specifically for the writing phase. Our second phase is the illustration phase. Here, my first and absolute biggest tool is the illustration template generator. It's so, so helpful for us children's authors and even for our illustrators and something I wish I would have had when I created my very first children's book many years ago. One of the most asked questions I receive from fellow children's authors, my children's book university students and my clients is how to figure out the exact size of the illustrations for our children's books. Throughout the years, I have been looking for a tool just like this one, but was never able to find one that does it all. So that's why I decided to create my own. One single place and tool that helps us create illustration templates for single page illustrations with and without bleed, for our double spread illustrations, again with and without bleed, a tool that creates a book cover sleeve template for paperbacks and hardcovers, and that works for both KDP and Ingram Spark. So the illustration template generator will help us with all our illustration sizing needs. So this one is absolutely bookmark worthy. 
And my second illustration related resource is my illustrator survival kit. Finding and hiring a talented and professional illustrator is the number one stumbling block for aspiring children's book authors. And so this resource includes everything we need to master this important milestone, whether that's an illustrator cheat sheet with the best places to find and commission our illustrators, whether that's the exact script we can use when we are approaching potential illustrators and inquire about their commission so we know exactly what to say, or whether that's a pre-created customizable illustrator agreement to help us keep ourselves and our illustrator legally safe and protected. And it's all in this illustrator survival kit. This one is not free, so I added a coupon for you in the description below that you can use that hopefully helps you with that. Our third creation phase is the formatting phase. Here, my first resource is my printable font cheat sheet. As authors, we always want to be aware of a font's licensing. Many authors actually don't know this, but each font creator sets the licensing agreement for each of their fonts. These licensing agreements let users know what each font can and cannot be used for. So for example, just because we are free to use a font in let's say a Word document, which we are using for personal use only does not necessarily mean we also have the right to use that font for the printing in books. So this cheat sheet is a curated list of my favorite open license fonts that are perfect for our children's book. My second resource for this phase is my printable ISBN cheat sheet. I have created this cheat sheet to visually guide us through the entire process of getting our ISBN and our ISBN barcode. So we won't miss a single step in this entire process. It shows us when and if we need an ISBN, where to go to get an ISBN, where to go to get a free barcode, and where to go after our book has been published to complete the ISBN setup process. It's all on this downloadable and printable ISBN roadmap. And my third resource here for this phase are my plug and go templates. The layout and the way our book looks on the inside is important. And with these formatting templates, there is no longer a need to hire a formatter to create a professional interior for our paperback or hardcover version for our children's book. These plug and go layout templates include the four most requested children's book sizes and include every page needed in our book, whether that's the title page, credit page, or the about the author page. And we can easily add more pages and delete those we don't need. These templates are not free, but I wanted to make sure to include them here because this is a step where many always ask me for help, which is why I created this resource. And our fourth book creation phase is the publishing and marketing phase. This is a big and important phase, so we need big and important resources, and I have lots of them for you. Here, my first resource is a list of the best children's book review blogs I put together for you. Review blogs are websites that dedicate themselves to reviewing books, in our case, children's books. There really is no shortage of review blogs and lists of blogs that we can find all over the internet. However, this list is quite different from other lists, and that's because I created this list because there are so many scammers on the web, where most of us no longer know whether a reviewer is for real. Unlike social media vanity metrics like the number of followers and the number of likes that can easily be faked, a website's traffic numbers are much harder to manipulate. So the list I put together for you is based on two completely different numbers that are much harder to fake. One, a website's domain authority, and two, a website's monthly visitors. So the review blocks I have included only look at those numbers because when we are investing in a reviewer and share our book with them, we want to make sure they're actually reaching real people. And that's what those numbers tell us. So that's my first resource here. My second resource for this phase is a printable interview preparation package I put together. I've created this free resource because I wanted to help with the marketing efforts of our beautiful children's book. You may have already seen my videos I created on how to get our book onto podcasts. And so this resource takes those videos to the next level. It includes everything we'll need to prepare for our successful author interview, even those outside of podcasts, be it printable checklists, outreach sample scripts so we know how to ask about possible interviews, tracking sheets, a list of frequently asked author interview questions so we can prepare beforehand, and so much more. I remember when I went into my very first author interview and having this resource would have been so, so helpful. 
My third resource for this phase is the 30 day launch mastery. This is one of my absolute favorite resources I have created over the years. And that's because I have been asked for something like this by so, so many, simply because the launching of our book can be a bit overwhelming at times. So I know it's so, so helpful and brings the joyfulness and excitement back into the launching of our book because it should be a joyful time, right? Because it's something we have been looking forward to for such a long time. And so this 30 day program provides us with step-by-step -step daily video instructions so we know exactly what to do and when to do it during our launch period. My fourth resource for this phase is another big and important one. It has everything to do with what I call the clean link for our book. If you have watched any of my launch related videos or have read my book, How to Self-Publish a Children's Book, you may have already heard me talk about the importance of sharing our Amazon link as a clean link so that Amazon cannot trace whether or not a buyer came directly from us, the author. And that's important because of Amazon's strict review policies. Oftentimes, book reviews are being removed if Amazon can detect a direct connection between the reviewer and the author. Now, nobody knows how much of people review removal is due to the sharing of unclean links, but it happens often enough that we should pay attention to it, especially since we're working so very hard on getting these reviews for our beautiful children's books. So why take any risks, right? So the goal then is to make any of our links we are sharing to our book, be it on our website, on social media, or in our emails, untraceable. But this resource takes it even a step further because it doesn't just share the clean link for the US based Amazon storefront, but a list of international clean links. So we know exactly how to create those links for other markets, such as the UK Amazon store, the German Amazon store, and a handful of others. And to go the extra mile, it also shows us how to create direct review links to our book. Because remember, someone can only review our book in their own country specific Amazon store. So for example, if I am located in Germany and do my shopping in the German Amazon store, I can only submit my reviews in the amazon.de store. And so the list I created includes all these links. So that's a really big one. And my fifth and final resource for this phase is what I call magic reviews. Getting reviews for our beautiful book is hard. So I created magic reviews to make it a little bit easier. It's a system that is meant to help us authors gain those first couple of reviews for our beautiful children's books, where by combining our efforts and joining forces, we are able to support one another. Now access to magic reviews is currently by invite only for a limited number of authors each month. So I have set up a wait list we can join and it has already helped facilitate hundreds of reviews for fellow authors so this is an important resource. I have so so many important resources and there are so many more I haven't even shared in this video but all those don't matter a single bit if others don't know about them and are not aware of them so I really hope that by providing you with this overview and by providing you with a link to all these resources it will be easier to see what's available and to then locate what you need when you need it. So I've made sure to share that link in the description below and you can also simply locate it by clicking directly on the resources tab over on evjones.com in the top right of my homepage. If you have a favorite resource of mine that I may have forgotten to mention or include over on my resource page, please feel free to share it in the comments below so I can add it. The majority of my tools is absolutely free and I hope each and every single one is so, so helpful to you. If you would like to show some kindness, please feel free to either like and subscribe to my videos here on YouTube, share my tools with fellow children's authors, whether that's through word of mouth or on social media, review my book, How to Self-Publish a Children's Book on Amazon, or support my work as an author by purchasing and reviewing any of my other children's books. And perhaps even more importantly, be kind and supportive of fellow children's book authors. There's room for all of us, so let's always support one another. Here's to never feeling alone and to always feeling supported, one resource at a time. Bye!